Hello, my name is Amanda Cavana and I teach on the first and second year full-time accounting at Andover College. A lot of people think that you need to be a real whiz at maths to be a good accountant and it's not necessarily true. We ask you to have a level five or above in your maths GCSE because traditionally students who have got four generally don't do so well, particularly in the second year. But the main thing is that you like doing a subject which has a process and is logical, not the same thing as English um, or history, something like that. So if you enjoy sciences, if you enjoy maths, you'll probably enjoy the disciplines that we offer in accounting. If you do both the first and second years of the accounting qualification, you'll come across a ver variety of business entities, sole traders with just one person owning the business, partnerships where there are a number of people who have entered money into the business and limited companies. The topics that we do are bookkeeping, which is the basic bread and butter of accounting um, and how to prepare accounts either for use yourself or to send off to HMRC. We do costing, which is working out how much something is going to uh, cost you to make, including some of the overheads. And so you can set the price of your product. In many of the subjects nowadays, you will find that ethics is on the syllabus, and this is exactly the same for accounting. And we also do some spreadsheets in the second year, which are used by many businesses, so it's a valuable skill for you to have. You can just do one year of accounting, and this will give you a level two qualification, the same as your GCSEs. It is about two GCSEs worth in that first year, so you do have to work hard, but it adds to your tally that you can take away with you when you leave college. If you do the second year, then this will give you the equivalent of a full level three A-level qualification. The first thing you'll start in your first year of accounting is how to process transactions through the books of account. You have some, an item that is sold, you create a document and you have to record the money in your accounts. So I'll teach you how to do that. And we use the computer package Sage 50 to help you do that. Other packages are available, um, but once you've learned how to use Sage, you should be able to transfer those skills to other packages that your business might use. We also do a bit of costing, working out how much the materials and labor and overheads are that go into a product. And so if you're selling something, you'll be able to work out how much the costs are in total, and that will help you set a selling price to make sure that you break even or even make a profit. The second year will give you the level three advanced diploma in accounting. This is a hard year. You've got to get yourself up to a B grade at A level to pass the qualification. And it carries with it UCAS points. Uh, this, so if you want to go to university, if you pass, you will have 40 UCAS points to take with you. 48 for a merit, which is the equivalent to an A grade. And if you get a distinction, which is the equivalent to an A star grade at A level, you will get 56 UCAS points. So we build on the stuff that you've learned in the first year. We do some more bookkeeping, we do some more costing, and we do more about value added tax. As in the first year, there is some ethics to be learnt and we do some Excel, which you may or may not have done at school, but it does end up being a fairly reasonable standard. You do pivot tables, if statements and things like that, which you can use in your accounting career and combine the Excel with what you need to do in your accounts. All of the exams for the level two and level three are taken online at various points throughout the year. Some of the results you'll get on the same day and some of them you will have to wait six weeks while they are marked by a human as well as some online elements. Once you've finished the qualifications, you can decide to go to university with your UCAS points. You could go out and work and you could come back and finish off the whole qualification with a level four professional diploma, which we teach here at Andover College one day a week. And many employers do give people day release to actually finish that qualification. Then you will be a fully qualified AAT accountant. You will get letters after your name. 
At that point, you could decide that you want to do further study and do the full professional qualifications, something like SEMA, the Management Accountant, ACCA, which is a Certified Accountant, or ACA, a Chartered Accountant. If you have any questions about the accounting course here at Andover College, please do drop me an email at amanda.cavana at sparsholt.ac.uk or you could send an email to reception and they would forward it to me or you can always phone and ask to speak to me and I will gladly have a chat with you about the course.